God has a message for you today. Another week has flown by like leaves carried on a gentle breeze. And here you are, still standing, still facing the world. That's something to be proud of, my dear creation. It takes strength to face each day, even the ordinary ones. You might not feel like a mighty hero, but you are braver than you think. Imagine a little flower pushing its way up through the soil. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes rain, sunshine, and maybe even a little pushing and pulling to reach the light. You are like that flower, growing stronger and more courageous each day, even when you don't notice it. Maybe this week had sunshine and laughter, or maybe it had some rainy days. Either way, you got through it. You faced your challenges, big or small, and that's what makes you so special. You are like a mighty oak tree with roots that run deep. The wind may blow, the storms may come, but you will weather them all. Throughout the week, there were moments when you questioned yourself, moments of doubt. That's okay, everyone does that sometimes. But remember, just because you stumble doesn't mean you've fallen. Think of a brave explorer charting a new course. There will be unexpected turns, maybe even dead ends, but they learn and grow from them. You are like that explorer, my love, navigating the uncharted territory of your life. And with every step you take, with every challenge you overcome, you become stronger, braver, and more courageous than ever before. So take a moment to celebrate, my dear. You made it through another week, and that's a victory in itself. And throughout it all, know this I am here, beside you, filled with love and pride. You are amazing, and I love you more than words can say. Life can be like a roller coaster, with ups and downs, twists and turns. Sometimes it feels smooth and exciting, other times it's scary and makes your stomach flip no matter what you're feeling, there's a powerful tool you can always use prayer. Think of prayer like a special walkie-talkie that connects you straight to someone who loves you more than anything me. Prayer is simply talking to me, sharing your thoughts and feelings, big or small. It's like telling your best friend what's going on in your life. Are you feeling overwhelmed at work? Feeling like there's a million things to do and not enough time? Take a quick break, close your eyes, and say a little prayer. Ask me for help, for focus, and for the strength to get through your tasks. Maybe you're feeling anxious about a test or a big decision. You can pray for calmness, for clear thinking, and for the confidence to do your best. Prayer can be like a warm blanket, wrapping you in a feeling of peace and security. Sometimes we get angry or frustrated, that's okay. Instead of letting those feelings boil over, you can use prayer to cool them down. Talk to me about what's making you upset and ask for guidance on how to handle the situation in a kind way. Prayer can help you see things from a different perspective and choose words that heal instead of hurt. And when you're feeling happy and joyful, don't forget about prayer either. Share your happiness with me like telling a friend about something amazing that happened. Prayer can be a way to express your gratitude for all the good things in your life. The coolest thing about prayer is that you can do it anywhere, anytime. You don't need fancy words or to kneel down in a special place. Just close your eyes, take a deep breath, and talk to me from your heart. Remember, Prayer isn't about how long you talk or how fancy your words are. It's about having a conversation with someone who loves you unconditionally and wants to help you through anything. So next time you're feeling something, good or bad, big or small, give prayer a try. You might be surprised at how powerful it can be. Life is a giant adventure, full of exciting discoveries and sometimes, well, some not so exciting messes. Think of it like a big box of crayons. You get to choose all the bright colors to draw a beautiful picture, but sometimes you might accidentally scribble outside the lines or pick the wrong color. 
Here's the thing I gave you those crayons, those choices, because freedom is important. It allows you to learn and grow, to become the amazing person you were meant to be. Just like a little kid learning to color, there might be mistakes along the way. Maybe you colored on the wall instead of the paper, or maybe you picked a color that didn't quite look right. But here's the most important part, I don't get mad at you for those mistakes. I'm always here, ready to help you clean up the mess, maybe even find a way to turn it into something cool. We can use a wet cloth to wipe off the wall scribbles, or maybe even turn them into funny shapes with a little more coloring. The important thing is to learn from your mistakes. Did you pick a color that didn't work? Maybe next time you'll try a different one. Did you color outside the lines? Well, maybe next time you can use a different kind of crayon, one that stays nice and neat. Remember, I gave you the freedom to choose because I believe in you. I believe you can make amazing pictures, even if they're not perfect at first. And most importantly, I love you. Love that doesn't disappear because of a few scribbles or wrong choices. It's a love that helps you learn and grow, a love that's always there, cheering you on every step of the way. So keep coloring your beautiful picture. Don't be afraid to experiment, to try new things. And if you make a mistake, don't worry, we'll figure it out together. Because that's what friends are for. And that's what I am your biggest friend, always here for you with love and support. Listen, sweetheart, I know things might feel incredibly tough right now. It might seem like everything is going wrong and that there's no point in trying anymore. But here's the most important thing I want you to remember, never give up hope. Hope is like a tiny seed. Even in the darkest places, it holds the promise of something beautiful growing. Life can be full of ups and downs, like a bumpy road. Sometimes it feels like the bumps never end and you just want to get off the ride. But even on the bumpiest roads, there are always smooth stretches coming up. Don't let the bumps trick you into thinking that's all there is. Think about a flower pushing its way through the cracks in the pavement. It's tiny and weak, but it never gives up trying to reach the sunshine. That's the kind of strength you have inside you too. You are braver than you think. And even when things feel hopeless, you have the power to keep going. Here's the secret you're not alone on this journey. I haven't left you, and I never will. I'm always here, right beside you, cheering you on. Maybe you can't feel my presence right now, but that doesn't mean I'm not there. It's like a hand reaching out in the dark, maybe you can't see it, but you can feel its warmth and support. My love for you is like a constant light, shining even in the darkest night. It's a love that never fades, no matter what challenges you face. So please, hold on to hope. Hope is what will guide you through the darkness and lead you back to the sunshine. Don't give up on living. Don't give up on yourself. I believe in you, and I know you have the strength to keep going. We'll walk this path together, one step at a time, type amen if you agree instant light shining even in the darkest night it's a love that never fades no matter what challenges you face so please hold on to hope hope is what will guide you through the darkness and lead you back to the sunshine don't give up on living don't give up on yourself i believe in you and i know you have the strength to keep going we'll walk this path together one step at a time type amen if you agree.